Hey guys, it's Miss Clark. Um, I am currently recording the, um, I'm reading the quiz for Tops and Bottoms, which is going to be taken on Wednesday, May 6th. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, what we will be doing. So this is the quiz. You can take it either on your paper or you can take it here online. I've made it accessible uh, both ways. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your email address in there, your name, and then, um, yeah, you just put your email there again. And then here's the first question. What would Hare most likely say to defend himself if he was accused of cheating Bear? A, he did not cheat Bear because he asked him what part of the plant he wanted. B, he did not cheat Bear because Bear did not do any of the work himself. C, he cheated Bear because he wanted to take Bear's crops. Or D, he cheated Bear because Bear was not that kind to his family. So those are the four answers to choose from. If you need me to um, uh, repeat the question, you can always rewind. Okay. Also, feel free to pause the video whenever you need to. All right, number two, why does Hare tell Bear that he will do all of the planting and harvesting? A, he likes to work hard. B, he wants Bear to agree with his idea. C, he wants Mrs. Hare to help. Or D, he knows Bear does not know how to work hard. Okay, choose the correct answer and move on to the next question. Why does Hare ask Bear to be business partners? A, so Hare can use Bear's land. B, so Hare can take Bear's money. C, so Hare can live in Bear's house. Or D, so Hare can sleep all day like Bear. Okay, next question. What does Hare mean when he asks the question tops or bottoms? A, what job do you want to do? B, what part of the crops do you want? C, how do you want to divide the work? Or D, how much should you sell the crops for? Next question. Why did Bear think that Hare cheated him? A, because Hare planted crops in his field. B, because Hare asked him too many questions. C, because Bear never got crops from the harvest. Or D, because Bear slept while Hare did all the work. Okay, go ahead and choose the correct answer and let's move on. So why does Hare ask Bear to be business partners? A, so Hare can use Bear's land. B, so Hare can take Bear's money. C, so Hare can live in Bear's house, or D, so Hare can sleep all day like Bear. Okay, choose the correct answer and let's continue. What did you learn about Hare in the story? He is lazy, he is kind, he is clever, or he is always sleepy. What did you learn about Hare in the story? Okay, choose your answer and let's continue. Why was Hare's family in bad shape? A, Hare lost his job. B, Hare's father died. C, Hare did not have any land. Or D, Hare was in trouble with his neighbor. Okay, choose the correct answer and let's continue. Which word best describes Bear? A, bossy. B, helpful, C, trusting, or D, ungrateful? Okay, next question. Which sentence from the story shows that Bear learned a lesson? But Hare, all the best parts are in your half. B, Bear never again slept through a season of planting and harvesting. C, you've tricked me twice and you owe me one season of both tops and bottoms. 
Or D, hair tugged off the roots at the bottom and the tassels at the top and put them in a pile for bear. Choose the correct answer and let's continue. So what lesson does bear learn in the story? A, do not give your money to other people. B, it is important to get a lot of sleep, so don't work too hard. C, do not trust your neighbors because they will always trick you. Or D, do the work yourself and don't be lazy if you want good results. All right, last question is short answer. So you will type your answer in the box. Read the story from the, read the sentence from the story. He had lost a risky bet with a tortoise and had sold all of his land to bear to pay off the debt. Explain the meaning of the phrase risky bet as it is used in this sentence. Okay, and that's the end of the quiz. So good luck and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.